But what really made the Willys Jeep stand out was its astounding all-terrain performance. A special gearbox allowed you to transfer into extra low gear to tackle the toughest conditions. Even in 2015, you can sort of see why the Willys version was so popular with the military authorities. It has excellent low-down torque characteristics. Sort of thing people talk about in their 3 Series diesel BMWs. Anyway, over 600,000 Jeeps were produced during the war by Willys and under licence by Ford. And while we're at it, we may as well get to the bottom of the Jeep name. Now, a lot of people imagine that it's a reduction of GP for general purpose, but I'm afraid, actually, this isn't true. GP only appears on the Ford versions, and it's part of an internal coding system where G means government contract, and P is a code letter meaning a wheelbase of 80 inches. A more likely origin is Eugene the Jeep, a strange animal from the Popeye cartoons. Popeye's Jeep was small with wide spaced eyes and he would always do his master's bidding. A bit like Michael Gove. So sorry about that, but if there's any consolation, Princess Anne really did own a Reliance Scimitar. Anyway. When the Allied invasion of Europe began, the Jeep would instantly prove its worth. Patton plunged towards Germany, 400 miles away, with extraordinarily successful results. From the Normandy beachheads across France and into the Low Countries, forward patrols in Jeeps would often lead the way in liberating the people from the evils of fascism. Soon it was the turn of the Italian city of Bologna, named after the famous source. What's rather disappointing about this exercise is that there aren't thousands and thousands of young women throwing flowers at me, which is, I'm pretty sure, what would have happened the first time round. Shame, because I'm convinced this vintage Willie's capable of liberating the city all over again. Unusually for a restored old car, and very unusually by the standards of this programme, this thing works absolutely perfectly. Bologna was liberated on the 21st of April 1945, and we don't know this for certain, but it seems likely that the very first Allied vehicle that the locals saw entering the Piazza Maggiore, where I'm standing now, was a Willys Jeep. It had proved the worth of a light, compact, all-terrain car. It really had played a major role in saving the world.